and staying out of the weather. I would like to say the same, but I'm doing well, just not staying out of the weather. Okay. So up tall, shoulders back and down, abs are in tight. Right, let's start this way. Right, so toes forward, arms forward. Good. Let's switch to heels forward and pull the elbows back. Good. 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 Now toes side and arm side. Sort of like a jumping jack, only without the jumping. Get those arms and shoulders moving. Good. Four, three, two, just march. All right, march your feet out wide. March back in. March out wide. March back in. March out wide, abs are in tight. March back in. One more time, march out wide. And march back in. Good, now let's pull the arms back and tap back. Good. Good. Four, three, two, arm side and tap side. Good. And let's step forward for a step or two. Step back for a step or two, if you can. Forward and back and forward and back and forward and back and forward and back one more time forward and back good and let's hold here Good, and let's step forward and punch forward. So step and punch, step and punch, step and punch, step and punch. You can visualize a target if you like. So a little bit going side to side. Good. Good, now let's take the feet to the side and an uppercut. Uppercut, uppercut. So up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back, up and back. Go at your own pace, remember? Remember at any time, if you need to take a little breather, do. If you need a drink, do. Good, four, three, two, biceps curl and knee up. Knee up, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Put a finger or a hand on the wall or the chair if you need to. Good. Let's do two more on each leg. And last time, good job, plant your feet. Put a hand on the chair. Let's start with the right leg, bring it around in front, around behind, around in front, around behind, around in front, 
So see if when you bring it behind, see if you can turn a little bit around in front, around behind, around in front, around behind. Abs are in tight. Good, let's do two more. So this is one and two. Good job and bring it back, shake out your legs. So I feel that a lot in the leg I'm standing on and we're gonna switch legs and come around in front and back and around in front and around behind and see if you can turn a little bit, even when you're bringing it to the front, just turn a little bit and then turn and bring it back. Around in front and back and around in front and back and around in front and back and around in front and back. Good, and one more time. Good job, shake out your legs a little bit. Okay, a little bit of balance work. So we're gonna start just like we did on Monday with the tree pose. Okay, so hand on the wall or chair if you need it. Pick a leg to start with. I'm gonna start on my left leg today. Monday, I did my right leg first. Um, so the heel of my right foot is gonna go against the inside of my left ankle or shin, right? I'm standing up tall, abs are in tight. Find that non-moving focal point. And then if you can comfortably bring your whole foot up against the inside of your left or right calf. Remember, we never put the foot against the inside of the knee. And then if you're pretty good here, see if you can bring your foot up a little bit higher, right? And then really lift up tall, pull those abs in tight, focus. Now, if your balance is really good, you could reach the arms up, but I don't recommend that unless your balance is pretty steady. Right, if you have a hand on the chair, the arm doesn't go up. Only if you can take two arms up. So first we wanna work on not needing the chair, then the arms can go up. Abs and tight. And release carefully. Good job, shake out your legs a little. Balancing is always a challenge. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch legs. So I'm gonna stand on my right leg and I'm putting the heel of my left foot against the inside of my right leg. I'm trying to relax the toes of my right foot. Up tall, in tight, fix my gaze, pick my left foot up and put it against the inside of my leg. And then maybe bring it up a little bit higher. And breathe and make sure your shoulders and your hips are square and facing forward, not turning. Try to really focus and breathe. Try to remember one side is almost always easier to balance on than the other. Try not to stress over it. Good, and slowly release and shake out your legs a little bit. So remember, if this is hard for you, then stay down here at the lowest level, right? With the heel against the inside of your leg and figure out your balance here. Better to do this than to not do anything at all. And if this is really hard for you, it gets really frustrating, just stand and pick your foot up. Some kind of balance is better than none. We're gonna repeat that one more time on each side. Right, so now we've done it once. So it's a little more ingrained. 
So bring that foot up as high as you can, right? Fingers on the chair if you need them or not if you don't need them. Up nice and tall, abs in tight, chest lifted. Find that focal point. Good. Remember, try not to get frustrated and just stop. Doing something is better than doing nothing. And relax, step that foot down, shake out your legs a little bit. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm seeing a lot of movement in some of these frames that makes me wonder what's going on. So hopefully everybody's okay and everybody's doing some sort of balance. Okay, so up tall, abs and tight. We're gonna switch legs last time. Put your foot where you need it to be all the way down, part way up or all the way up. Remember, if your foot's all the way up, your balance needs to be really steady. Good job. And you know, for some balance is a lot easier than for others. So try not to stress too much. We just wanna work on improving it ever so slightly, just a little bit at a time. Rome was not built in a day. Good, and then slowly relieve. Okay, fingertips light on the chair, abs and tight. Pick a leg, knee up, leg back, knee up. So try to use this even as a little bit of a balance. See if you can challenge yourself and just put your fingertips lightly on the chair, right? And not really hold on. And maybe just put one finger on. Let's do it one more time. And up, good, and set it down. And then we're gonna go right in and switch and other leg, knee up, leg back. Now this is a little bit of a quick move. So it's really difficult to do this without holding on at all. So do try to put one finger on the chair or more if you need it. Last time. Good job, set this foot down. Let's grab a quick drink. And we'll leave our legs alone for a little bit. Good work. Pick up your tube or band if you have one. If you don't, light weights or just body weight is fine. Okay. So we're gonna shorten it up. Bring those arms out in front and out and in and out. Remember, we wanna to try to keep the elbows pretty straight and the band is coming across at chest level. Chest level, not shoulder level. When the arms come out, see if you can pinch your shoulder blades together a little bit. Abs are in tight. Try not to bend your elbows any more than you have to. Last one right here. Good job, lower the arms down, roll your shoulders forward, roll them back. Good work. All right, now we're gonna shorten it up and I'm gonna do my left arm first and then my right. So I'm putting my right hand on the front of my right shoulder 
elbow down. I'm lifting my left elbow up. My palm is facing the front of my body and that elbow staying at shoulder height. And I'm gonna go out and in. So when I go out, my palm is facing forward and my arm is lined up with my shoulder. So when my arm is out, you can't see it because it's in line with the rest of my body. Out and try to keep that elbow up. It's hard, it wants to drop down. You have to tell it no. Remember, if you get a little tired, rather than stopping, just give yourself a little more length if you're using a tube or a band. And if not, if you're using a light weight, put the weight down and finish with just your arm. One more time. Good job, lower down, roll that shoulder forward. The one that was doing the work, not the other one. And roll it back. Good job, and let's switch sides. Good, so remember feet a little bit apart to give us a nice stable foundation. Right elbow up, left elbow down. Right palm is facing your chest or the front of your shoulder. And here we go, out. And in, and again, that right elbow is staying in line with the rest of your body. Abs are in tight. So as you extend it, if someone were looking at you from the left, once the arms extended, they wouldn't be able to see it. Try to really keep that elbow up. Not so easy, it wants to come down because down is easier. Good job, three, two, one. Good work, lower your arms down. Ooh, roll that, the one that you were just using, which for me was the right. Roll it forward a few times, roll it back. Okay, we're gonna set this down just for a second and grab your rod or your bar or your cane or whatever it is that you have that's long and straight. And you're gonna take your feet out wide, bring your hands out wider than your legs or your feet. And we're gonna go up and down. So we wanna to try to keep the arms extended. Up and squeeze your shoulder blades and up and squeeze your shoulder blades and up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Just as high as you can. And sometimes the first few are pretty hard and then it gets a little bit easier. So if you don't have one of these, you could take your tube or band if you have one and fold it in half and just use that between your hands. Let's do one more time. Good job. And then go ahead and set it down. So this is a nice stretch for the pack. So we feel it right in here. Because when these muscles get really tight, they kind of pull the shoulders forward and then the shoulders can't be where they are supposed to be. And it really limits the movement of the shoulders. So grab your tube or your band again. Right. And um, you know what? We're going to step on it. Go ahead and step on it. Take your feet apart, nice and wide. Make an X, switch the handles. Put the handles on the front of your legs, right? And if you don't have a tuber band, just put your hands on the front of your legs with weights or without weights. And we're gonna pinch the shoulder blades back. Hold, 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 relax. Pinch back and hold, hold, hold. Relax, pinch back and hold, abs are in tight, chin is tucked a little, and relax, and pinch back and hold, 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 and relax, and pinch back and hold, pull those abs in tight, and relax, 
and pinch back and think about tucking your chin back and down just a tiny bit and relax. And pinch back, pinch, pinch, and relax. And pinch, 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 and relax. And pinch, pinch, and relax. And let's try one more time. Pinch and really hold it. Good job. Bring your feet together, right? Maybe just drop the ends of the tube or the band and roll your shoulders forward a few times and then roll them back. Good, okay. And then pick the tube or band up again and we're gonna undo the X and we're gonna shorten it up and we're gonna take the feet nice and wide apart. And if you prefer to do this in front of your chair, by all means do. Stick your hands to the sides of your legs, push your hips back and come up and give your tush a little squeeze and push back and up and give your tush a little squeeze. So push back, inhale up, squeeze. Abs are in tight when we come forward, we're looking down at the floor, not out in front of us. Shoulders back, push back, up and squeeze. 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 Keep going. I just saw some crazy 20 something walk by in shorts. <sighs> up and squeeze. Back, up and squeeze. Back, good, let's do three more. Pull those abs in tight, really push back, inhale up. Push back, feel this in the backs of your legs. One more time. Up and squeeze, good job. All right, now bring your feet closer together. Maybe just an inch or two between them, right? Shoulders back and now pull those abs in as tight as you can get them and let's bend to the left. So left and center. Left and center, left and center, left. Really squeeze the side of your waist, left and center, left and center, good and center, left and center, good. Remember it's fun. Smile. We have five, four, pull those abs in tight. Three, two, one, hold center. Good job. Check, make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. Adjust your tube or band if you need to. And let's go to the right. Down and up, down and up and squeeze that right side and up and breathe good don't let your shoulders take over really feel it in the side of your waist try to keep your legs extended and both feet flat but don't lock your knees Good, four, three, feel your waist shrinking. Last time, good job. Let that tube or band come full length. Maybe do a little bit of twisting, loosen things up a little bit. Okay, if you can make another X. Right, feet are really close together. We're gonna to pull the handles up to the sides of the hips. Um, or if your tube's not very long, maybe down a little bit lower, but try to put it on your sides. And we're gonna step two steps to the left, then two steps to the right. Whew, here we go. Left and right. Remember, shoulders stay over the hips. Try not to lean. 
Abs are in tight always, of course. Toes point forward and not out to the side. Try to make sure that you're stepping to the side and not back or forward for that matter. Whew, I'm feeling these already. Back to the right, abs in tight, shoulders stay down. You know, we have a lot of moving parts to keep track of. Right, left, right. Now, just one step. So left out and in, right out and in. And again, try to stay upright. Try not to let yourself lean. Pull those abs in really tight. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling these today. Let's do each side just one more time. Out, in, out, in. Good job, everyone. Step off the tuber band, set it aside or weights if you were using them. We're gonna come back behind the chair, step back away from it a little bit, right? Pick a leg and swing it side to side, right? Make sure that it's, um, you're far enough back that you're not gonna kick anything. Good, and let's switch legs. Remember, we're more interested in bringing that leg across in front of us than we are way off to the side. Because we want to stretch the outside of the hip. Good work. Okay, both feet down, stand behind the chair. Pick one leg, bring it behind the other. Make sure that both feet are flat on the floor and that your feet are more side by side and not toe heel. Push your hips back, bend your elbows, push your chest down toward the floor. So if this is really, really tight, really hard to do, stand up again and do some more of those leg swings. And hold here, pull those abs in tight. Push back into your heels, feel the outsides of your hips, but more in whichever leg is behind usually. And think about pushing a little bit further back. Just a few more seconds here. We want these to really stretch out so we don't want to skimp on the length. Abs in tight, inhale, stand up. And we're gonna switch legs, right? Feet flat, more side by side and not so much heel toe. Push back, try to make sure both knees are extended but not locked, right? Abs are in tight, shoulders are back and down. And smile. Try to relax into the stretch. Think happy thoughts. Hopefully nobody has to go out in the snow today. Good, abs and tight, inhale. And lift up. Very good job. Grab another drink. We're going to get our lightest weights. And if that's body weight, so be it. So just like we did in the warm up, we're going to hold the weights like this and we're going to step and punch. So, so actually, this is an uppercut. So let's uppercut, uppercut. Uppercut. So think push up, pull back, pull back, pull back, like you're going to hit someone with your elbow. See if you can turn a little bit up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back. If it's too much to do the arms and the legs, just keep your feet still and maybe go a little bit side to side. Up, back. Yeah, good. 
Don't kill the dumbbell with your iron grip. So try to relax your grip a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Stand still. Take a little breather. Maybe roll your shoulders a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to bring the, the hands right here and we're going to, let's see how we do opposite arm and leg. So push, 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 push. And remember, if you want to take that leg out to the side, that's fine too. Or even behind. That works too. Just see if you can do an arm and a leg together. Push, 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 push. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Lower your arms down to your sides. Roll your shoulders forward a time or two. Roll them back a time or two. Okay. Now, if it bothers your shoulders at all to do this next one with the weights in your hands, then go ahead and set one down. But what we're gonna do is opposite arm and leg. So we're gonna go leg back, arm up, leg back, arm up, like that. Okay, so doesn't matter which one you start on as long as you do them both evenly. So here we go, leg back, arm up. Now, if you don't wanna touch the leg down, that's fine too. And we're really pulling that arm back, back. Try not to bend your elbow if you can help it. Abs are in tight. Let's do two more on each side. Last one on each side. Good job, set the weights down. Ooh, roll your shoulders a little bit, forward, a little bit back, hand on the chair, pick a leg, swing it forward and back, maybe just three or four times, right? And then switch. Good job, all right. While we still have some energy and I'm hoping that's actually true, we're gonna do our stand up and sit down. So if you wanna grab weights, go ahead and grab weights. If you don't, that's fine too. Just remember, you know, we don't build strength if we don't challenge ourselves. So if we're sitting, the weights go out toward the knees. We bring the feet up as high as we can without leaning back and we're alternating. If you're sitting and standing, arms are down by your sides or up on your shoulders. Whether you have weights or not, feet are out at least hip distance, maybe a little bit wider. If you're stand, well, no, everyone should be sitting out toward the front edge of the chair. Abs and tight, here we go. Up, down as lightly as you can. And that down lightly applies whether you're sitting or standing. Just a little more challenging if you're standing. Breathe. Remember to keep your feet on the floor at all times. So when you sit, try not to let yourself fall back and your feet come off the floor. Remember if you're using weights and you need to set them down, do. Of course, we wanna try not to, but. Sometimes when it's wet outside like it is today, those knees start getting a little cranky or the low back gets a little cranky or both even. Up tall, abs are in tight. The abs help us to really control our movement. Let's do five more, you can do it. Five. Four. Good work, everyone. Three. 
two. Last time. Woohoo! Good job. Have a seat if you're using weights, set them down. Right? Lean back, pick a knee, bring it into your chest, hold either here in front, which will stretch the front of your leg, or behind, which will stretch the back of your leg. Whew. Breathe. Think happy thoughts, feel that stretch. Even if you're leaning back, try not to let your spine round. That spine to stay nice and long. And let's switch legs. <sighs> Breathe. Now, it may be that while you were doing those, your heart rate accelerated. And that's certainly not unexpected. It should actually accelerate to a certain extent because we're using large muscles. And whenever we're using large muscles, the heart rate goes up. Good work. All right, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna get our heavy weights and we're gonna do, actually, you know what? Instead of pinches, we're gonna get one heavy weight. So make sure that you bend your knees and your hips, pick up that one heavy weight. And I'm holding mine in my right hand and I'm putting my left hand on the chair. You could also put the left hand on your leg if you prefer. Bring your chest forward. Remember, don't do this from an upright position. So need to be forward. If you like to sit, sitting is fine too. Right, that arm drops down so it's under your shoulder, not way out in front of you. And we're gonna squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. Abs are in really tight. The hand is on the leg or the chair to help to support the low back. Try not to grip the weight any tighter than you need to so you don't drop it. Don't let that arm come way far forward and your shoulder round and your spine round. And squeeze it back. You should feel these, right? If you're not feeling them, something's not right. Three more, three, two, one. Good job. Set that weight down. Ooh, roll that shoulder forward. So you should have really felt that in your shoulder and your back. And roll it back. Good work. You know what comes next. Switching sides, right? So I'm holding the weight of my left hand. My right foot is forward. My chest is forward. My arm is straight down under my shoulder, not out in front of me, not back here. My shoulder is back. It's not dropped forward like this. Abs and tight, here we go. Up, down. And I'm keeping my chest nice and level. I'm not letting my arm go way down. And I'm not taking my upper body out of square. Abs are in really tight. Squeeze. Squeeze. Remember, these are good for us. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four. Abs in super tight. Three. Two. One. Good work. Set that weight down. Roll that shoulder forward. Roll it back. Good work. All right, go ahead and grab weights for biceps curls. Whatever weight you need. All right. Elbows in at the side of your waist. So ideally the elbows are under the shoulders like this, not way up here, not way back here. Okay. So remember if you start to get tired and these get hard, alternate both arms. Here we go up as loose a grip as you can manage without dropping the weights.
Keep going. Remember, alternate if you need to. We have four more. Don't let yourself lean back. Pull those abs in tight. Two more times, you can do it. Last one. Good job, set those weights down. Woo. Shake out your arms a little bit, maybe even roll your shoulders back. Good, all right. We're gonna be working the backs of the legs again. So we're actually gonna be working the backs of the legs up into your glutes and up into your low back a little bit. So we're gonna do that with the heaviest weights that you can manage, right? If you wanna stand in front of your chair, that's fine. Feet at least hip distance apart, maybe a little bit further. Chest up, shoulders back and down, abs in really tight. Remember, we start the movement by pushing the hips back and that's what brings the chest forward. The hands are gonna slide down the outsides of the legs, not drop forward. So we're gonna push back, hands come down to about the knees, abs in tight, lift up. Push back into your heels, abs in tight, inhale, lift up. Remember, tuck your chin down. So you're looking down at the floor and not out in front of you. And really try to push back into your heels. Good and push back and stand up. And abs in really tight to support your low back. Hands go no lower than the bottom of your knee. And I'm feeling this in my upper back as well as my low back. Just a bonus. Good. Abs are in really tight. Let's do four more, you can do it. Four, three, good job, two, last one. Good, good work everyone, set these weights down. Whew. And put a hand on the chair, swing your legs forward and back, let's loosen up those muscles. Good, all right, stand toward the, space the chair, sorry. Step back away from it, push your hips back, push your chest down toward the floor. Again, stretch out your back. Remember, you don't wanna be so far away from the chair that your legs, your legs light, your arms are extended, your legs should be extended, but we wanna have some bend in the elbows because that helps us to keep the shoulders back and the spine from rounding. And breathe. Good, abs are in tight and slowly lift up. Very good. Okay, so we're gonna stay right behind the chair, right? We're gonna take one leg back behind us. And today we're gonna pinch, pinch, pinch. So really pinch right here, abs are in tight. The foot can come off the floor, but it doesn't have to, as long as you really feel the squeeze here, squeeze. This is really important. So try to really squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze. Abs in tight, so your foot's not just falling onto the floor, but you're lowering it. Good. Squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Foot down, shake out your legs a little bit. And then we're going to switch sides. Up tall, shoulders back and down, abs in tight. Take the other foot back behind you. Squeeze that tush, squeeze it and lift and relax. Squeeze it and lift and relax. Stay up as tall as you can. Try not to let your upper body move any more than it has to.
four. Really squeeze. I know the other leg is feeling it. Last one. Good job. Ooh, shake them out a little bit. One more time. Hands on the chair back. Step back a little. Push your hips back and press your chest down toward the floor. Breathe. Remember, even here, the abdominal muscles are working. Try to push your hips back, push back into your heels a little bit further and feel that stretch. Good. Now, abs and tight, inhale and slowly stand up. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna face front. We're gonna put a hand on the chair. We're gonna soften the knees a little bit. I'm gonna be standing on my left leg and working the right and I'm picking it up, picking it up out to the side and I'm not letting it touch the floor. But if you need to have your toes on the floor at the bottom, then do. Better to do that than to go like this. Try not to do this. Keep your upper body still, right? And even here, hand as light on the chair as you can make it. Right, and of course we feel it in the leg we're standing on, but we should feel it out here some too. And if you don't, bring it a little bit further out. Aha. Not too big, not too fast. Try to really control the movement. Three, two, one. Good job, step it down. Swing that leg side to side in front of you just a few times and do the other one too. Right, because that leg worked pretty hard. Good. And then we're going to switch sides. And after this, we're going to sit down, double pinky swear. Okay, so up tall, abs and tight hand, light on the chair. Other leg goes out. Try to keep your toes pointing forward. Try not to let your upper body move. If you need to sit, you can sit. And when you sit, you have to lean a little bit and then go like this. And trust me, you'll still feel it. How about four, three, two, one. Ooh, Sheesh. feel that one. Good. All right, now we're gonna sit down. Sit out toward the front edge of the chair, whichever leg you did first. I did the right leg first. I'm gonna cross my right ankle over my left knee. My left knee is straight out in front of my hip and I'm gonna gently push down on my right leg just above the knee and I'm sitting up tall. I'm trying not to lean back and I'm trying to smile and think happy thoughts because this is a really hard stretch and my hip is saying it would really rather not, but I don't care because it needs to. And I can already feel it loosening. And breathe. Just a few more seconds. Good work, hands on the outside of that knee. And we're gonna bring the knee across toward the other side of our body and then up in toward our chest. So I'm using my right hand to kind of push that leg over and then pull it in toward my chest, right? And I feel it down here. And sometimes I give my leg a little shake because that helps to loosen things up so I can stretch it a little bit more. Three, two, one, good job and release it. Whew. All right, and we're gonna switch sides. So other leg, ankle over knee, extend that right leg or left whichever leg if you need to. Put the ankle below the knee if you need to. The important thing is that you feel some stretch all the way up around the top of the leg 
in the hip joint. Make sure you're not leaning back. Try to sit up as tall as you can. Put a little bit of pressure on that leg above the knee, never directly on the knee. And breathe. Good, and then hands on the outside of that knee and bring it across and up and in towards you. And feel it down lower. Good work and release them. Both feet down on the floor. Sit up really tall, right? Tuck your chin down just a little bit. Try to pull it back toward the back of your neck like you're trying to give yourself an extra chin and then turn your head side to side, not too slowly. We actually wanna do this one rather quickly because we wanna loosen up the neck muscles so we can stretch them. Good, now look over your left shoulder, chin back, push your chin down towards your left collarbone, right? Shoulders stay back and square. We're not turning to the left, just the head and neck are turning. Ooh, and feel this in your neck. Think happy thoughts. Good, lift your head, look front. Turn your head, look over your right shoulder. Bring your chin down towards your right collarbone. Good, and lift your head and look center. Good, now if you need to, just turn your head a couple more times. We're gonna scoot over to the right side of the chair. Try to stay out at the front edge of your chair. Hold on with the left hand, lower that right knee down. Lift up as tall as you can. And if you can, push your whole upper body back. So I highly recommend holding on to the chair with your left hand if you're stretching the right side because it really helps me to feel where everything is and make sure I'm not crooked. And also when I lean back, it gives me a little more security. And sit up, good, and bring that foot forward and let's switch sides. So scoot over so the left side of your tush is off the chair, the right side is on. Hold on with the right hand, lower that left knee down. Lift up as tall as you can and maybe push back a little. And smile, relax, think happy thoughts. Hopefully we're all doing well. Only another 10 seconds or so in this stretch. Good work and sit up, bring that foot forward. We're gonna stand up, I'm gonna move my chair. I'm gonna put my left hand on the chair 
and stepping away from the chair just a little bit, feet are together. I'm gonna push my hips over to the right and reach the right arm up and over. So if you prefer, you can put your left hand on the wall or you can hold on to something heavy with your left hand, but you wanna feel that stretch all up and down your right side. So you wanna to try to really push your hips over to the right and feel that stretch. And this is a really good stretch for the low back. No, it doesn't really seem like it, but it is. Good, a few more seconds. Make sure that your chest, shoulders, hips are square. Good, inhale and lift up and lower that arm down. And then we're gonna switch sides. Right, feet together. And the feet together is kind of important. Push your hips away from the chair. So I'm pushing my hips to the left and I'm reaching my left arm up and over. My knees are straight, my feet are flat. Sometimes there's a temptation to bend one of the knees, but that takes away from the stretch. So we really don't want to do that. I'm going to try to really push your hips over, away from what you're holding on to. Whew, and feel that stretch. See if you can make it a little bit deeper, keeping your knees straight and your feet flat. Good, Whew. and inhale and slowly lift up, lower that arm down, good. Roll your shoulders forward a time or two or even three. Roll them back a few times. Maybe give yourself one big overhead stretch. And lower your arms down and we are all done. Great job, everyone. As always, thank you so much for coming and be safe, stay well. Don't go outside if you don't have to. <laughs> and hopefully I will see